Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it's Sunday, so I am here with Scrap Lift Crafter Noon, a hop where a group of my friends get together, we find some inspiration, and we scrap lift it. And this week's inspiration is actually one of mine. Um, when it comes to the month of our birthday, we pick a layout. Um, the group picks a layout for that that person's created and we celebrate our birthdays. And so this coming Friday is my birthday. So they chose today to do a scrap lift of me. So I am going to use the exact same collection as I did on the original, which is Print Shop by Vicki Booten. I have some scraps that are left over. I've got the project or the, um, the paper pad, the six by eight paper pad, and then of course lots and lots of embellishments, more embellishments than I could even shake a stick at, and then the die cuts that I use for the original. So I have my papers, I have my embellishments, I have my dies, um, I have my pictures from Pride 2024, and this layout. So let's see how this goes. So um, I go ahead and take all four of the different sizes of um, star dies that I have and just start creating. And I do want to bring in some of the same features from my old, my original layout. So um, not only am I recreating with the stars, but I'm also using some of the same papers like that black and white rainbow paper that the circles are of in the back. I'm going to bring that out and then I make stars out of at least one of the same papers that I created um, the original layout with as well a little stripey paper. Um, I double matte my picture because it's a little on the darker side. I wanted to go ahead and matte it on white, but obviously it's on white paper. So then I double matte it on black. It is a full four by six picture. So with the double matte, it is four and a half by six and a half. And so it makes it a little bit bigger than my original layout where I believe I cut that down to probably like a four by five and only did a single matte. So and then my two pictures are um, three by four and I did not trim them down. I did only single mat them on scraps that are left from things I created the stars from. Um, this second layer that's going on right here that I've got um, coming down below this main picture on the left, I had, it looks like a piece of scrap. I tried to use scraps up a lot and I know that that's a big part of what I was doing on this original layout. Um, so I think that that little circular paper that I've got underneath the bigger picture is a scrap that I had left over. I should have watched the video from where I created this. I know I should have, but I didn't. And let's just be real. <laughs> I mean, the way things have been going lately, I'm just glad that I got the layout done. and was feeling mojo-y to get um, in my scrappy space <laughs> after coming back from my sister's house um, on Saturday. So, um, I mean, I have been completing these layouts like at one, two o'clock in the morning on Saturday night slash Sunday morning when they're supposed to be posted and ready to go by 1 p.m. So, you know, <laughs> it's fine, guys. It's fine. So, um, I am putting my title in the same location. I've got like the little label tag up there in the same place or a very similar place to the original. And I am going to use the alphas, which makes me happy. Um, the, you know, sometimes it's hard to use up alphas with some of these collections. Now, black and white is super easy. They can go with anything. They're black, white, and gold. Um, but to find an excuse and a reason to use a Q is perfect, especially on a, um, one like this where I could not fix this to look like an O. Like a lot of times you can make your cues look like O's and say so they don't get wasted or, you know, pitched or whatever. And in this case, obviously I can't do that because it's like a full solid chipboard alpha. And to cut that little line out of there, the little hash in the cue would absolutely look ridiculous. I could probably turn it into a C. Um, or maybe even an, a weird looking G. Anyway, point is I got to use it as a Q. I did have to use a J, an upside down J for the R. It's fine. Uh, we are at Pride 2024. And so I decided to title it Queer Times, which I thought was funny. <laughs> and so um, I was going to name it something about kings and queens because the other two pictures are, um, the smaller pictures are a drag king and a drag queen. The other picture is me and one of my favorite people. Um, and she went to Pride with me this year. And so I um, wanted to, that's why I didn't make the picture smaller because the background is this huge rainbow blow up and you can only see part of it. So I didn't want to like cut a lot of that out um, since, you know, the whole point was kind of bring the rainbows in there. So this will be a facing page to another picture of me and her and some other pictures from like we watched a podcast 
uh, interview and like a ton of other stuff. I think that I'll probably print the pictures of the delicious cupcakes uh, from the inebriated baker. <laughs> and yes, that means cupcakes had alcohol in them. They were delicious. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure. I haven't printed the pictures for that la that layout yet. So I will probably use the same collection. Um, and who knows? Maybe it will end up on here. There's no telling with me. Uh, these stars right here that I'm putting, these itty bitty ones are from a layout I did probably, um, I don't know, a year ago with 30 Days of Sketches. And I used a die cut that had like a little star thing and it popped a bunch of stars out. And I just kept them. Um, with the collection so I um, added those I used some wordy bits from Tim Holtz snarky that say things like to be honest I'm just winging it life motherhood my eyeliner everything <laughs> and the other one says life is not a fairy tale if you lose a shoe at midnight you're drunk um, I was not drunk although I did have the cupcakes but I didn't eat them until I got home <laughs> I do journal about how much I adore Courtney um, and how much I appreciate her friendship and her guidance and just how fabulous she is. We had a fabulous time at Pride and so I'm glad that I got to document some of the fun stuff. Um, and that is it. I put a bunch of stars on here and did not use as many embellishments as I would like to, but I am going to try and do like an embellishment sneeze type thing because uh, I have so much with this collection so much so but I did pretty much keep to the general idea of the original layout obviously with the stars the colors the patterns um, the pictures and everything um, there's a couple things that are missing and like I said I probably should have watched the video it's fine though. I cannot wait to see how everybody else creates with this layout. Um, I did get started on Scrap of Crafternoon like two or three years ago um, when Christine and the original ladies from Scrap of Crafternoon lifted me and I asked if I could join them and they let me. So, and here I am years later and I love this group of ladies. So I cannot wait to see what they do. Hope you'll go check them out. Their information is below and I hope you'll come back and see me again really soon. Have a great day. Hope you get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love and happy scrapping.